Oh my Hi y'all, I'm back after centuries. So after watching the thumbnail, you already have figured out what look this is going to be. So I'm recreating Doja Cat's Met Gala special look which was done by Pat McGrath, the queen herself. So you gotta watch this video until the end to see if I was successful or not. And don't forget to subscribe. Are we good? Yep. I probably said that because I turned the air conditioner on, never mind. Anyways, after applying sunscreen here, I look glowy as fuck, but that's not how I go outside. I like to go full matte. Color correcting my face so that I don't look like I haven't slept for a month, which is true. <laughs> for those who are shocked at this point after watching me applying pink foundation, or let's just say pinkish because I have a warm skin tone and I wasn't supposed to apply it like that, let me tell you, I added a little bit of brown and pink face paint to make it look like a little cool tone pinkish foundation. I don't know for what reason. I just... I just wanted to okay shut up now i applied the concealer the way i do always yeah that was not necessary <laughs> last but not the least i am setting my base with the w7 banana powder which is extremely affordable and very lightweighted it just slays all the time for eyebrows i don't really have the shape of doja cat which is fierce looking and you know my favorite absolute favorite so i'm gonna do mine all right i'm gonna use some of my uh, secret formula in this one I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but... The formula, ladies and gentlemen, is liquid lipstick and slightly Vaseline, which is to intensify the eyeshadow look I'm creating here. You cannot simply achieve that with powder eyeshadow, usually. <laughs> so liquids work a lot. So over that base, I have slowly started to apply the reddish brown eyeshadow and gradually developed with the darker shade to the point where it ends up resembling Dota Cat's eye makeup which is extremely genius. I mean, I don't know how Pat McGrath did it. I mean, hats off to that lady. She has always been my inspiration. Okay, no need to get cheesy. <laughs> so right now, I'm applying a little bit of concealer to clean up the edges and uh, brighten up the eyelid. I don't know exactly how Pat McGrath did it since she didn't upload any full tutorial on how the makeup look, the entire process was done. So I'm doing whatever felt right. So far, it looks good to me, maybe. However, after doing a tons of blending, I realized that this was not dark enough and not as dark as I wanted it to be. So I applied a little bit of eyeliner to intensify it even more and uh, smudged it out because everything about that eye makeup was smudgy and all blended. It was never solid. So you can see the massive change I have achieved after applying eyeliner. I mean, that's literally the game changer success. However, I still look like a sick person. So in order to minimize the sickness I have on my face, I am applying some eyeliner on my waterline as well and smudging it out uh, with some black and brown eyeshadow. You cannot just leave that with one color, come on. You know, I could have used a kabuki brush to just blend on my lower lash line, but I used a more defined one instead because I didn't want it to look extra smudgy unlike Doja Cat's look. I wanted to follow that as much as possible. So right now, I'm applying some glitters over my eyelid to highlight this. I mean, glitter is the main element of this entire makeup look, so I wanted to focus on that as much as possible, though I ended up applying the wrong glitter, which you will figure out at the end of this video. <laughs> For mascara and false lashes, I'm doing what I always do, you know, just apply it and wear it. I needed false lashes for this one, honestly, otherwise I wouldn't be able to pull up the dramatic look was I able to though? Let me know in the comment box, alright? For the lip combo, I'm starting with black lip liner. I don't know for what reason it matches my skin tone so much. And uh, nowadays, I'm very much in love with the black lip liner and nude lipstick combo. And luckily on the Doja Cat's makeup look, it looked like she was wearing nude lips. With lip liner, of course. I mean, it makes your lips look fuller than usual. It will work if you have thinner upper lip like mine. For contouring and highlighting my face, again, I'm not following anything because I didn't see the full tutorial on how Pat McGrath did the entire makeup look on Doja Cat's face. So I'm doing what I always do usually. For blush, I'm applying a little bit more maybe in this one, but otherwise it's all the same. You know what I always think? Pat McGrath should have a YouTube channel and just share her makeup secrets and put on tutorials on how she does those extremely gorgeous makeup looks on all the models and celebrities. I mean, I would listen to her all day. She's 
such an inspiration. For highlighter, nothing special, trying to make a dewy base. Alright, that's all I'm done. Thank you for watching the video. I need to relax. Alright, so this is the moment y'all have been waiting for. Admit it already. You can see the pain, the struggle, the second thoughts that are running through my mind while creating those teardrops using water and eyeliner a little bit. I was having a hard time at first, but once I, you know, figured out the technique to do it, with, once I figured out the flow of water, I was able to do it easily on the other eye. But for this one, I was, yeah, I suffered a lot. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make the lines more visible using some black eyeshadow. I'm sort of creating a base in order to make the glitters pop out once I apply it. The deeper base, the better. Put a little face paint on top. Oh yes, it worked. Oh my god. Oh my. No! The reaction was genuine, folks. I was actually happy to see the glitter look like that. Alright, y'all, I uh, changed my clothes into a white t-shirt, but I cannot damp it. Because it's too valuable for me to... And what I realized just now is that I put the wrong glitter on my eyelid. I, it was supposed to be silver. I put the one instead. Let's add something a little... I don't know if you can see it. I've added a little bit more glitter. And I'm done, finally! Um, but the glitter is not really visible, I need to do something for it. Wait a sec. It didn't work. I think it was pretty okay for me, what do you think? It's much better on the sunlight. I think I nailed it for, for a daylight look. No. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Put a thumbs up to my video if you did uh, and uh, share the video as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon as well and do whatever else is required, please. And uh, see you guys very soon. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> see you very soon. Bye bye.